All right, what's up, Planeswalkers? It's your boy K Dog. Got another arena video for you guys today. Best of three standard. So the deck we're going to be looking at right now is a Teamer Battle Mage. Uh, basically, uh, build around Beam Splitter Mage. Whenever you cast a spell that's an instant or a sorcery that targets only Beam Splitter Mage, you can basically copy that spell to target another one of your creatures. Uh, so the green uh, gives us cards like Season of Growth, which can help us draw a ton of cards. And Titanic Growth is awesome as the plus four, plus four buff. Especially when you get into Trample, like Gruul Spellbreaker and the Dreadhorde Arcanist. Or even doubling up the Trample with the Colossus. Uh, Domri's Ambush is just really good removal, even though it does not work with a Beam Splitter Mage. And the Rimrock Knight is just kind of a nice flex card that gives us a creature and a spell at the same time. Bargin is pretty amazing because none of our creatures are humans. So basically if we can target our Beam Splitter Mage with Bargin, we buff two creatures and everything has Trample. We also have one of my favorites, the Wee Dragonauts. That's a 1-3 flyer, and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, it gets plus 2, plus 0. Oh. And with Beam Splitter Mage, things can get out of control pretty quickly. So I've tested this in some best of one and had some pretty fun matches. Uh, some pretty crazy turns. Hopefully we can replicate some of that. Um, so the sideboard is definitely a work in progress, but here's where I'm at so far. We got four unsummons, which can be used on our opponents or our own creatures, especially if they have a sweeper. We can target our beam splitter mage to bounce it back to our hand, plus another creature, and just kind of save some of our uh, attackers. We have claim the firstborn, which could either be used to give one of our own creatures haste since everything we have is under three cmc or we can target our opponent's creatures and especially if we have a beam splitter mage out we can target our beam splitter mage and their creature to uh, obviously maximize damage destiny spinner is just in there so that we cannot be countered I'm not sure how relevant that is but having your stuff countered is probably the most annoying thing. Return to nature because of all the enchantments and the exile from the graveyard can also be relevant with all the escape mechanics. And for our sweeper, since we are starting at trying to stick a couple of creatures and just buff them up, we're not really going wide. So for the decks that are trying to go wide, uh, I was thinking about flame sweep, but I think we're actually going to try storm's wrath and uh, see how that goes so we're going to get into some more best of three matches because that is my preferred method of play and uh, let's see how we do in best of three best of one this deck has run pretty well for me so we'll see what we can do in best of three and if nothing else hopefully we can show you guys some pretty spicy turns with chaining some spells together and buffing up our dudes. Okay, match one, we're up against King Fu. Alright, King Fu. They will be on the play. Opening hand. Wow, no creatures. We have the Season of Growth. We have the Ambush. Um... We can definitely Season Growth turn 2, and if we draw a single creature from there, we should be good to go, and right on cue. So we'll start with a Breeding Pool, so we can get our Season of Growth down without having to shock. Okay, our opponent looks like they're just on some Gruul Aggro build. Going for the Haste. That's, I think, how you usually want to play those guys. Especially when you don't know what your opponent is up to. Just guaranteeing you get in for two damage seems like the way to go. 
Uh, Legion War Boss. Okay, we're uh, definitely in a bit of trouble here. Uh, four cards in hand. I'm sure they have removal. So we're going to have to pay to shock in a Dragonaut. If they kill it, we're probably just dead. Uh, the Arcanist is good, but it might be a little slow. Um, I think we have to try it though, just for the Domri's Ambush combo. And we'll see what our opponent has. Yep, they kill it right away. And they get in for uh, 7. And I think we're uh, just too far behind at this point. We'll just go to game 2. I mean, Gruel Aggro, they go first. They Pretty good chance they're going to win. So, we can definitely try to bring in the Storm's Wrath. That'll clear everything that they have. Um, obviously things like Vivian can buff their creatures out of range, and that would be unfortunate. But I think we just have to try. Since they're super wide, Claim the Firstborn also puts in some work. And Unsummon. Um, Rimrock Knight. Barge in. So Storm's Wrath means our creatures aren't as good. Let's shave a couple of you. Maybe we'll shave off what else? The growth. We want all of our removal. I mean, the growth is a little slow if they're just going to go super aggro on us. I think we'll shave off a bargain and a growth and we'll just try it like that. I hope we don't get run over again. And actually get to play some magic this time. That would be nice. Gruel is such a powerful deck. I don't know why you're playing this in unranked. It's a perfectly playable in ranked play. Just play it there. You don't need to play it in unranked play when people are trying to play jank. And yeah, we're just going to lose because uh, we can't get a good hand. At this point, I think we'll just pitch a... Uh, a creature and a spell and just hang on to the Storm's Wrath to uh, sweep up. Hope we hit a, another land. So we can clean up their board. Hopefully before we just uh, get run over. Do we play the Spellbreaker next turn? This has a 4-4. Well, we have the Storm's Wrath enabled next turn. So if they drop a war boss or something, I think we're definitely interested in playing that. So I don't think we want our Spellbreaker online yet. And if we draw another land here, then we can definitely Spellbreaker and Colossus if we want to. Otherwise, we'll just follow it up with our uh, Spellbreaker. Breeding pool, so that does give us the option next turn. But four cards in hand, they still have plenty of spells, but we'll at least slow them down a little bit. Angel aggro is just a really good deck on the super aggressive. Wow, Twin Street Dodger. You're playing a 1 1 in your aggro deck. Okay. Not really in a good spot to attack, so let's just uh, buff it up. And I'm not really sure I get the dodger here. Maybe they're a. Uh... Okay, maybe they're just a. Uh... Go goblins? Okay, I was gonna say goblins, but no, they are not goblins because they've got Hydra. And uh, once again, it looks like we're just dead here. 
claim the firstborn and attack. We're staring at six damage, at least six damage next turn. If they don't block, I don't know why they would. Let's just push 11 across. We're at nine, it doesn't matter. They're uh, looking at six damage here, maybe more. Top decking, so yeah. And that's it. So, a little aggro, not a very fun matchup. Hopefully, we can uh, get a funner one here next one. Like, if you're playing a good deck, just play it in ranked. Like, you don't need to play that in unranked. But I guess people just want to play for fun, even though they have a good deck, or they're just doing their daily quests. Still, when you're an unranked play, it's just nice to be able to play some jank and not have to worry about playing against like strong decks. Obviously, they were running some cards you don't normally see in those tier one decks, like Gracious Hydra and Ten Street Dodger, but still, it's a pretty powerful start from them. So we're gonna lead on Temple, and then we can shock in this Stomping Ground. Get our Season of Growth online, get a Spellbreaker, and we know we have a Colossus coming. Okay, Pack Mastiff. I don't know if there's one of those uh, Mono Red Strider decks. Okay, so we're definitely playing the, playing the Spellbreaker as a 4-4 next turn. Get a little scry action. We have all our lands, so we're just looking for uh, either another creature or uh, another spell. We'll see how much damage they can push across. Obviously, double burn can kill it. Lava coil. Uh, if they don't have that, then we are in pretty good shape. Otherwise, we definitely are going to want more creatures. That's exactly what we're looking for. Perfect. So, we can Beam Splitter plus Season of Growth next turn. And then just kind of hold off on uh, Collision Colossus. Tapped out. No reason to uh, not to block. Okay, no idea what they're doing with their Cyclops, but I think we're just going to stick with the plan. Scry. I think we want, we got two, so I don't think that's what we're looking for. Don't need another land. Uh, can't do anything about eight toughness, so let's uh, hold back. And next turn, we can do some pretty stupid stuff. Unless, of course, they just kill us with the Cyclops. Right now, they're representing six. But probably have another spell in hand. So let's see. Okay. That was down to six. Doesn't matter. Let's see. Let's grab another green source. We can get these Colossus online. Beautiful. So we'll buff you. Your awesome cards. Okay, that's six and eight is fourteen. And another one, and that is lethal. Look at that. Oh man. 22 damage. Out of nowhere. Alright. I think it's a red starter deck. So, not too challenging. As long as we're able to keep our creatures alive, we're in great shape. 
So against mono red. Um, pack mastiffs weren't too threatening. We could consider the unsummons, depending on how big their creatures are. Uh, all we saw was the Mastiff and the Cyclops. As a 0-8, it wasn't too threatening, and especially if all their spells are pretty low cost, they're not going to be able to buff it up too much. Uh, we'll see what else they have. Um, now we'll just try two unsummons and uh, see what we can do. It could be a matchup where we don't need to sideboard at all, but let's uh, see how this configuration looks. One land. Okay, that's unfortunate. Okay, two lands. And we'll keep. Dragonauts, a barge in to the bottom. Okay, we can season of growth to start scrying, and hopefully we don't just get completely run over. Those seem like they're a little bit of a slower build as far as mono red goes. Ember Holler doesn't seem particularly powerful here. Obviously, we have to watch. The Beam Splitter Mage, since the Hauler can trade with it. Alright, Spell Gorge of a Weird, which can get some counters. Just to be mana efficient, I think we'll Spellbreaker, make it a 4-4. There you go. Collision... Yeah. I don't think we can say no to that. Love to start getting some creatures online, but okay, double spell gorger. It's a little scary. If they want to attack, hmm. I mean, they can. If they have a shock, obviously that would uh, suck. Well, we have plenty of creatures to follow up with, but I think we need to just get rid of this Ember Hauler so we can safely play some of our other creatures. That's not how that works. So it looks like we have a newer opponent on our hands. Um, don't have anything in our bin yet. Love to get another land to get the Beam Splitter Mage and Dread Horde Arcanist. That would be pretty insane. Um, we'll say no attacks. These spell gorders can get pretty big here with counters. Uh, especially if they're doing direct damage to us. And our life could dwindle faster than we would like. We are not blocking with our beam splitter mage. So cannot afford to lose that. Uh, if they have a shock... Then I guess it's better that they use it on the Spellbreaker. And uh, we'll keep our uh, mage alive. Okay. Uh, I think we just need to start drawing some cards here. Is the Spitfire more of a threat? Uh, seems like it's more of a throw in with what they're doing. Down to two cards. I think we'll just get rid of the Spell Gorger before it gets any bigger. And draw another card. Mountain, that's kind of perfect. Uh, yeah, we can't block, so I think we'll just uh, get in there. Okay. Now we can Collision to just get rid of it and not have to worry about it. At 13, though, I think I'm going to take my chances and just try to get another creature in. Uh, Bargin will give us a beautiful target spell for our Beam Splitter Mage. Let's just draw some more cards. And they're just attacking for one. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. Okay. 
what we can do here we can ambush and get rid of one Spitfire we can collision Colossus Some cards, buff our dudes. Another dread horde. That's pretty sweet. Okay, well it looks like we lost our Domri's ambush because we don't have the right mana. No, nope. we can cast it out of our graveyard. Let's just do that. Perfect. Yeah, why not? Barge in, because we can replay it next turn. Oh, that was exactly lethal. How about that? Alright. Like they say, math is for blockers. Alright. So I definitely love these style of decks that just kind of come out of nowhere and have these crazy turns. Uh, historic, I was running a Adelie's deck that did really well for me, helped me rank up out of gold up into, uh, uh, what is that, platinum for the first time. So that's pretty sweet. Hope I will showcase that once we get historic ranked back. Uh, but for now, let's keep playing some uh, standard and we'll showcase this teamer deck and one more match. We already saw some crazy turns that time. Let's see if we can uh, do a little more of that action. Okay, here we got the Arcanist and Dragonauts. This hand looks pretty sweet. Obviously uh, a little blue heavy, but we can still cast everything in our hand. Um, I think we're just going to keep playing. And we'll save the temple. Actually, Beam Splitter is pretty sweet. Let's just attack for one. Golgari. That's not really fun. Uh, yeah, let's Beam Splitter and Temple. And hopefully we can untap. Yeah, I think we'll do that for some more green manas. So we got double red and we got plenty of blue. And hope we don't just get blown out here. Okay, Taskmaster. I wonder if they're on some kind of a zombie build. I'd like to just keep advancing my board state here. So I think we're just going to take the attacks. And hope we don't get blown out next turn. So we'll play the Dragonauts, Fable Passage, say go. And end step, we'll just search up a forest. Next turn, we'll have... Five, so we can Spellbreaker with uh, Haste, potentially. And then Colossus, and just go Nutso. But we'll see what we draw first. It's possible we just want to Colossus our way through this. 3-3, um, three, 2-3. Three, three. So if they want to trade with the Spellbreaker, I think that's fine. this and haste and then I think we'll do that oh uh, we don't have the right mana that's fine well what we can do is attack with you and you Uh, these islands are kind of screwing me up a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's just give the uh, Spellbreaker Trample. I'll also buff up the Dragonauts, doesn't really matter. 
So our opponent down to eight, but the dread presence can help them gain some life. Probably killing the beam splitter. Yep. It's unfortunate. We do still have some pretty crazy plays with the Arcanist and Dragonauts. And of course they have more removal. Uh, since we're missing green, we'll go get another forest. So that screwed us up last turn. Uh, might have even been lethal. But... So this buffs it up to five. Yep. Yeah. So that's seven and five. That's uh, lethal even with the Leyline Prowler lifelink. But of course they're gonna block and prevent a lot of that damage. The Death Touch kills the Spellbreaker. They gain two, go back up to six. Uh, let's play our Dwarf Knight. And uh, yeah, we'll go and play the land. I don't really feel like uh, we need to sandbag it and make him think we have some trick. Their dread presence can kill our knights if they find another swamp. Aerialist. People love that card. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sick of all these life gain strategies. Okay, we're just down to basic mountains. Uh, the Rimrock Knight can attack in and uh, deal with, can kill whatever they block with. That's fine with me. And we're in a pretty bad spot here since we're uh, kind of run on empty. The Arcanist can help us catch up, but they've got a couple draws to deal with it. And now the task. Master can help them get their creatures back. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge. We don't really have any one drops that we can return. And they're just being ultra conservative by not attacking. And now they do decide to attack with their dread presence. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're just dead here. Yeah, trying lands. They're just gonna keep getting all their creatures back. They've got lifelink. We're flooding out. That's no point in playing this out. They might want to, but I'd rather just save time and just move on. Okay, Storm's Wrath kills everything they're trying to do. Claim the Firstborn doesn't seem great. Unsummon seems like it could be pretty strong with all their removal. So I think we're going to shave these Bargins as powerful as they can be. And our other two cuts. Um, I always feel like the Rimrock Knight seems pretty expendable. So let's try that. Hopefully we can find a Season of Growth. And that'll help us draw some cards and keep up with their card advantage. Okay. Uh, we've got our colors, so yeah, we can uh, Season of Growth turn two, and uh, either the Arcanist or the Mage turn three. Seems fine. Stomping ground, okay, so mana-wise we're in pretty good shape. We just need to draw more creatures and some more spells. Okay, Taskmaster again, turn two. Another season of growth. Don't think we're really worried about that. Obviously, uh, getting the beam splitter mage is pretty sweet, but we're not really doing much. I think we'll do this and pull it up. Possibility of Domri's ambush next turn. We can ambush, kill something, and then attack in and get another trigger. That could be pretty sweet. Colossus. OK, 
Good season of growth and draw a million cards. Well, that seems pretty appealing. Let's do that. Now there. We'll get a counter. We're going to draw some cards. Uh, let's go to attack again. And let's deal some more damage to that prowler to finish it off. We got a 3-5 Trampler coming at you. <coughs> and a group full of cards. A great engine here. They want to blow it up with their Assassin's Trophy. That's fine. We'll just get more lands. That'll help us get more fuel. Okay, definitely interested in dealing with that Dread Presence. But the Taskmaster can just get it back. So maybe... We can ambush, kill the Presence. Ambush again, kill the Taskmaster. And with three mana, maybe we Dragonauts. That seems fine. Okay, we'll get rid of both. Draw a million cards. And I don't think they have a sweeper since they were happy to play out their creatures. Okay, let's get the Dragonauts down just to be mana efficient. More lands. Well, we got two in hand. So I don't think that's what we're looking for. That is what we're looking for, though. Do we need steam vents? We've got three red, two blue. We've got a forest in hand. Um, they're not really doing much. Maybe we don't need all these arcanists, so let's keep the lands so we can uh, go off and cast a million spells. Okay, we're gonna ramp. And that's it. Opponent at 12. If we do this, are they dead? That's. 8, 10, 12. Uh, yeah, my opponent should be dead. Season of Growth, with putting a lot of work there, really saved us. We're able to keep going. Alright, that configuration seemed to work out alright. So let's uh, run it back. Unsummoned felt pretty good, so I'm happy with that. And yeah, just a matter of keeping uh, one or two creatures around long enough to get some card advantage, push some damage across, and even if they find their removal. Uh, we can recover just like we did there. So yeah, Beam Splitter Mage with all these other cards is just uh, stupid powerful. Vampire, sure. Death Touch is pretty annoying, so we're gonna definitely want some of our Domri's Ambush to get rid of that. Of course, it's nowhere to be found. A double vampire. So now uh, I think we're kind of hoping we find a Storm's Wrath. I'm sure they'll have removal for the Beam Splitter Mage, but let's get it out their hand. Oh, no blocks. We got pretty powerful engines here, so I don't think there's any reason to be too worried about life totals. Put him for five. 
seem to be holding some removal though. The uh, Assassin's Trophy, you know? Not sure what they're holding on to at instant speed here. So they did have one. Not really sure why they held on to it. Um, doesn't matter. I think we'll just grab some forests. So we can push a ton of damage across. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I'll draw some annoying cards next turn. So hopefully they don't have more removal. If we can keep these two guys alive. Perfect. Right, if that's all they have, then we are in pretty good shape. Obviously the vampires will kill our dudes, but we're going to draw a million cards. So maybe we just don't care because we have trample. All we have to do is draw into some more creatures. And if they want to trade off with their vampires, then so be it. So we do have trample damage, which is pretty effective. They've got four toughness. We're pushing 20 damage across. I think the life link keeps them alive. I think they will be at exactly uh, two. Yep. So we got another beam splitter mage, but two lands. That's not really ideal. Um, yeah, as long as they don't have a sweeper, this hand is definitely something we can recover with. Uh, the Dragonaut is a great card, but right now I think we just want more spells. Obviously, if they're able to kill both of our dudes, then that's a problem. But yeah, let's just uh, say go. Opponent down to two. Pretty much any spell should win us the game next turn. Trophy, of course. Uh, it's pretty overrated removal. But that's what they feel they need to run. And it seems like maybe they're stuck on mana. Okay, they have a double trophy. That's pretty annoying. Yeah, let's spin the deck. I mean, our opponent's at two, so I think we just have to keep chugging along and just trust that eventually we'll be able to do something against them. Obviously, these uh, black decks with all their removal is pretty frustrating at times. Uh, unfortunately, we just kind of flooded out. Their uh, Taskmaster can get their creatures back for them. Can't cast it since they're paying black to activate it, but they'll get it online next turn. Uh, Dragonauts is good, but you know, they have annoying cards in hand playing Golgari, so undoubtedly they have more removal. If not, the Colossus can win us the game here. Hopefully, they're sitting on creatures. Okay, I'll take a Leyline Prowler. It's fine with me. Can't use it. Cannot pay for the Taskmaster because you played your Prowler. Um, just in case, I think we'll just take it. And yeah, get in for a lethal. Boom. All right, we flooded out pretty hard. We're still able to fight our way through our opponent's removal. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Teamer Beam Splitter Mage. Pretty sweet deck. Uh, if you're a fan of explosive turns, I recommend you give it a try. Uh, trying to promote decks that you don't really see a whole lot of play. 
since the uh, problem with Arena, in my opinion, is everybody just kind of plays the same thing and it gets really old really fast. But that's just my opinion. So thank you guys for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Take care.